Hello, welcome to day four of the 30 Days of Grace series that I'm doing. If you haven't already watched days one through three, you should go ahead and do that before you watch today. And this is going to be the second story time that we do during this series. And it's actually a story about me and grace that I feel like I experienced in my life recently. I thought that it would be a good idea for me to share a story of grace in my life, but I wasn't sure what to share. And then something happened recently where I was like, oh, I should share this. It's not a huge you know, a huge thing, but to me, it was really good. So uh, Saturday night, I fell asleep on my phone like a noob. And I woke up in the middle of the night like, I gotta set my alarms, I gotta set my alarms for the morning. So I had to be somewhere at 10 in the morning. And so I said, I'll set an alarm for waking up and then two alarms for 10 and 20 minutes before I, I wanna leave the house. I was supposed to be somewhere at 10, and for some reason, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to leave the house at 8.15. So I, I set my alarms accordingly so that I would be ready by 8.15 to leave the house so I could be somewhere at 10. It made sense when I was half asleep. I don't know. I woke up and, oh, I would go back. So I had been planning this series, the 30 Days of Grace series, and I had started kind of dreading it and I had started procrastinating and I wasn't reading because I wanted to read about grace, like teach you about grace, and I wanted to... I need to read the stories that people are sending me so that I have a familiarity with me, so I have some idea what I'm doing, you know, that kind of thing. But I have been dreading it so much and grace encompasses so much that I was just overwhelmed and I was anxious and it was just not good. So I get up Sunday morning and I get all ready. And I am ready, it's almost 8.15. I'm, I am very close to being ready. I am gonna be on time. It's gonna be amazing, amazing. And then I go into the bedroom and my husband Bobby is still asleep and I'm like we have to be somewhere soon we gotta go we gotta go let's take him to sleep and then I was like oh wait so I was off like by an hour and I was like well now I have all this time and then I was like oh I know what I need to do I need to read for, for 30 days of grace <laughs> I don't know what to do. but I did it I sat down and I started reading about grace and then I started, I read one of the stories, actually the story from day two of this series, so a couple days ago. And I was just so encouraged by that story and by what I was reading. And I was like, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be great. I can do this. I need to do this. I want to do this. So I went from a, a place of anxiety and dread and procrastination to just excitement and just joy to do it and it was awesome and so maybe like okay like aren't you stretching it a little bit here but I don't think so because I think grace you know grace can be big things grace can be like something that to everyone is a huge deal but grace can also be in the small things like for me someone who'd been dreading and procrastinating and being like I'll do it this day I'll do it this day I'll do it this day Having time that I did not expect to have was huge. Like I knew, I don't know, I just knew that that's what I needed to do with that time. And it was really good. It really changed my perspective. It really encouraged me. And I mean, that that story from the other day touched on identity. And that is a core, like that's a, something that I'm passionate about is identity. First of all, finding my identity in Christ and then wanting to help other people grow in their identity in Christ. It was like a little a little love note to me like here here's a gift of time for you and not only is it something that you need to do but as you do it you will find the joy that you need to do it that's my story of grace i will see you tomorrow for day day five of the 30 days of grace series have a good day